Where are my lovers of Hollandia yogurt? Let's interpret what the manufacturer of Hollandia yogurt is also trying to tell us. This is Hollandia yogurt and is 180 ml. Yes, 180. And the manufacturer has provided us with information per 100 ml. So like I said, if you want to know how to interpret food label, then you have to take this very seriously. The first thing you will have to look for is the weight, the actual weight of that food product. Yes, it's very important. Before you will now go to the nutrition information provided, if you don't, you will be making a mistake when you look at just the nutrition information. Now, this food product, Hollandia, I know you like it very well. Like I can see you smiling. <laughs> All right, so this Hollandia yogurt is 180 ml. The nutrition information provided by the manufacturer is based on 100 ml. So, you would have to do what we call cross multiplication for you to know the nutrients in the 180 meals of this Hollandia yogurt. How would you do that? First, you would read the ingredients and it says it has water, sugar, skim milk powder, whole milk powder, stabilizer E418 and E466, acidity regulator E330, yogurt culture, yes, that's what it contains. Then go to the nutrition information table. It's based on 100 ml and it says that energy is 74 calories. So, does it mean that when you drink this, you're going to have 74 calories? No, that's not what it's saying. You have to do the cross multiplication. When you do that, it will mean that you're taking 133 calories. That is what you're going to be getting from these 180 mils of Hollandia yogurt. And the protein content is 1.7 for 100 ml but it's 3.1 in this whole pack, which is a little bit less than the protein you find in boiled egg. Then carbohydrate is 11 in the pack of 100 ml, but it's going to be 19.8 in this 180 ml, of which sugar is 9.18. That is like two cubes of sugar. What do you think? Too much or too little? I think it's okay, yes, because we say you can take up to five cubes of sugar to be healthy, and two cubes out of five, I think it's still fine, it's still okay. Then fat contains 0 0.7 gram, and that means 1.3 gram in this whole pack. Then the calcium content, since it's a milk based product, so whenever I did or interpret food labels from the ingredients, I know what to expect. So if this is made from milk, skim milk, then I expect that this calcium content should be reasonable. It shouldn't be one milligram, five milligram. It should be reasonable, about 100 and 100 and something. So for this 180 ml, you're going to be having 129 milligrams of calcium. You need between 1,000 to 1,500 milligrams, depending on your age, activity level, and what you do. So. I don't expect you to obtain all your calcium from this because it means you would have to be taking as much as 10 for you to get all the calcium you need. So if you take it as a snack, it's fine, it's okay. Then you cannot obtain calcium from all other food products. The dairies and rich finger millet is also a very good source of calcium. And if you're still not able to get the 1,500 milligrams, you may not need calcium supplement. So now, yes, Hollandia yogurt, the manufacturer says that in, 100 and, in this 180 ml, it has 133 calories and it has about two cubes of sugar. The carbohydrate content is 19.8. So, if you're on a weight loss journey, can you drink this pack? <laughs> if you're asking me, then yes, you can. It's still okay. If you take out 133 from your 1-5 calorie diet, if you're following a structured diet plan, if you're following a weight loss plan, you're quantifying your food and you're able to estimate the calories, you're eating within a regulated calorie, then yes, you can take this. When you deduct it from your 1,500 calories, you still have about 1-4 calories to eat from food. So this can actually serve as snack. 
Then, for somebody who has diabetes, I don't think this should be a problem, especially when your sugar level is well controlled. Yes, there's, just, there's no problem. You know, gone are the days when we say people living with diabetes should just eat beans and acha and plantain. They shouldn't take any other thing. They shouldn't live a normal life. No, it's no longer the case. Now, so long as you're taking your medication, you're active, and you're following the diet that has been planned for you. For some of my clients, they can be on 150 grams of carbohydrates, for some 180, for some 200, for some even 240 grams. A lot depends on their medication and many other factors. But yes, this can actually be factored in. So, but this is what I would advise you. If you have diabetes, let it replace your milk. You want to play safe, right? And you want to be wise. So if you feel like taking this, if you feel like having this, then just replace your milk. So in the morning you want to take you want to take something like acha pudding or you want to take tamba pudding or you want to take tea or you want to take anything that requires milk, just use this instead of the milk. So you're playing safe. You're not going to be taking, for instance, when I plan my diet, I use 150 calories for my milk. But you can see that this is 133 calories. So you see, it's still within the range. You see why you should know about calories in food? You're going to be able to play around your diet. You will not live a life that is rigid. You will not live a life that is regulated too strict. Why? Because you know what is in this food. You know what is in that food. And you know how to combine it and still enjoy your life. So for someone who has diabetes, I don't want you to take too much sugar. I don't want you to take too much carbohydrate. So what you can do is to exchange. Exchange this with your milk sauce or with your yogurt for the day and that is fine. Weight loss, yes, this is fine. You can have this. Someone who's hypertensive, this is still okay. You can take it. Alright? Enjoy your Boladia yogurt.